some late night F1 news here in the United States of America about the American team Haas F1. Haas F1, of course, has their Ferrari engines. They're going to keep those Ferrari engines. Don't worry about that. But they have announced a technical alliance with Toyota Gazoo Racing. So let's read the press release. Let's read some of the details. And then I will talk to you about some of the more significant meanings, some of the history behind Toyota and their return to F1. So this press release reads, American F1 team and world-leading Japanese automotive manufacturer partnered together to share knowledge and resources for mutual benefit. MoneyGram Haas F1 team and Toyota Gazoo Racing, the motorsport competition and research and development division of Japanese automotive manufacturer Toyota Motor Corporation, confirmed today a new and dynamic collaborative relationship with Toyota Gazoo Racing, now the official technical partner to the only American team competing in the FIA Formula One World Championship. Under the new multi-year agreement, both parties will share expertise and knowledge as well as resources with Toyota Gazoo Racing, providing design, technical, and manufacturing services. While Haas will offer technical expertise and commercial benefits in return. With an objective to advance Haas F1's development and competitive element within F1, Toyota Gazoo Racing will further develop its own knowledge and skills in a variety of areas through its involvement with the team competing at the leading edge of global motorsport. And then we got some quotes here from Haas's team principal, Ayayo, once again, apologies for the pronunciation, Kamatsu. I'm hugely excited for Haas F1 and Toyota Gazoo have come together to enter into this technical partnership. To have a world leader in the automotive sector support and working alongside or our organization while seeking to develop and accelerate their own technical and engineering expertise, it's simply a partnership with obvious benefits on both sides. The ability to tap into the resources and knowledge base available at Toyota Gazoo Racing while benefiting from their technical and manufacturing processes will be instrumental in our own development and our clear desire to further increase our competitiveness in Formula One. In return, we offer a platform for Toyota Gazoo Racing to fully utilize and subsequently advance their in-house engineering capabilities. Kamatsu goes on to say, I'm naturally pleased that we've had the support of the likes of Formula One and our long-term partner Scuderia Ferrari, who we announced our further continuation with earlier in the season and the formation of this new technical partnership designed to achieve continued success in our Formula One endeavors. Together with Gene Haas, I'd specifically like to thank Stefan Stefano Domenicali, Fred Vissor on that front, and with Toyota, I'd like to thank Akayu Toyota, Tomoya Takahashi, once again, apologies for these pronunciations, Masaya Kaji, everyone at Haas, F1 team is looking forward to the collaborative results of this new relationship. We can't wait to get started and fulfill our combined ambitions. And then Takahashi, he's the president of the Gazoo Racing Company. He said this, We are pleased to announce that MoneyGram Haas F1 team and Toyota Gazoo Racing have concluded a basic agreement to enter a technical partnership such as Haas Vehicle Development. We would like to express our gratitude to Mr. Gene Haas, Mr. Ayayu Komatsu, Mr. Stefano Domenicali, Mr. Fred Vasur, and our existing partners of the team for their exceptional cooperation and understanding in this collaboration. By competing alongside Money Graham Haas F1 team at the Pinnacle of Motorsports, we aim to cultivate drivers, engineers, and mechanics while strengthening the, the capabilities a Money Graham Haas F1 team in Toyota Gazoo Racing, and we desire to contribute to motorsports and the automotive industry. So yes, what does this mean? What does this all entail? Well, obviously there's a lot to really break down, think about, look at here. And the first question a lot of people are gonna ask is, oh, is Toyota, are they building the engines? No, as I said at the beginning of this video, no, they are not. Ferrari is continuing to supply engines for Haas F1 team as they have for a while now. And they obviously got the, Haas obviously got the okay from Ferrari, from Fred Vasseur. That's why they thanked him in this press release. They got the okay 
that, hey, we can have a technical relationship with Toyota. But then something interesting I wanted to point out that Toyota pointed out in their announcement. They said, the aim is to create an environment in which young Japanese drivers, engineers, and mechanics can gain experience and grow in the FIA, Formula One World Championship, the highest level of motorsport, and to contribute to the development of the automotive industry. So I find that interesting because it seems like Obviously, from the F1 side of things, they're trying to get some technical alliance, some technical advantages, learn some things, get, you know, as many brains on the car as they can to help further develop their team. But from a Toyota aspect, obviously, Toyota Gazoo Racing is a racing team. Uh, they're in the WEC, the World Endurance Championship. They do rallying. They do a few other racing series. That's Toyota Gazoo Racing specifically. Obviously, we can branch out further if we want to look at Toyota. We can go to NASCAR, for example. But what I want to focus on with that is that, as I said, you know, Haas, they're going to get some development, it looks like. They're going to get some technical alliances. They're going to get some research and development, in a sense, for their F1 team, because that's it's all MoneyGram, Haas, F1 team. That's what they are. There's not really an expansion. They don't expand out. Now, you could go to Gene Haas and look at his businesses. Go to his NASCAR team that's being turned into Stuart Haas Racing to Haas Factory team. But when you look at Toyota Gazoo Racing, there's a lot more splits. There's a lot of different directions this goes. Toyota Gazoo Racing is owned by Toyota, the big company, the company that sells you know, street cars, cars you see every day on the streets. And it seems like, based on this, is that they're going to not only use this to help improve their mechanics, to help improve their engineering, to help improve their own research and development. With racing, it could also help in an automotive sense, in a, you know, just the basic street level, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into that. But then it points out the driver, so I'm curious. Does this mean, or to what extent does this mean, drivers within the Toyota Gazoo Racing family right now, is that now a ladder to get into Formula One? You know, obviously we see the typical, you know, F4, F3, F2, F1. But could we now see someone go race for Toyota Gazoo Racing in another series and then use that? as a step to become someone in their ranks. Now, not necessarily jump straight from Toyota Gazoo Racing's wet car or rally car and go straight to the F1 team, but maybe use that as a step while in the waiting to become an F2 driver or to become maybe the reserve driver at Haas. Just curious to how things could play out in that sense. And then another thing you got to think about Haas has gone under a lot of changes in the last few years. Not just necessarily the drivers, but Gunter Steiner out, Komatsu in. Uh, then, as I said, with the drivers, you know, we've gone from Nikita Mazepin and Mick Schumacher to Kevin Magnussen and Mick Schumacher to Kevin Magnussen and Nico Hulkenberg. And now next year, it's going to be Esteban Ocon and Ollie Behrman. I mean, we've had a lot of driver turnover at Haas in just the last, what's it been, three years since Mazepin and Schumacher was the pairing. Haas has been all over the place in the constructor standings over the years, but this year they've been a decent seventh place. They currently have a good 15 point gap on eighth, which is almost double the points, by the way. And they're only three points back on sixth. They're having a solid year. Haas is doing stuff right now. They're being a very serious franchise right now. As I said, when they've struggled, when they've had their problems, they're finally making the turnover. They're making the changes that have ultimately been needed at Haas. A bigger factor, could they become a more of a threat, in a sense, in F1? Now, I'm not saying they're going to go out there and win the Constructors' Championship or win the World Drivers' Championship, but could they maybe five, ten years down the road steal a win or two every once in a while? I don't know, but this t this technical alliance with Toyota, no, it doesn't mean they're building the engines, but it seems like they're going to have more eyeballs on the car. They're going to have more research and development. They're going to get 
some input from Toyota and Toyota Gazoo Racing. And then it's the same thing the other way around. Haas is going to send them some information, you know, help them out a bit. And then there's also going to be a marketing component. You're going to see Toyota Gazoo sponsorship logos branding on the Haas F1 car starting actually at Austin next week for the U.S. Grand Prix. And then a NASCAR factor. I We talk about NASCAR on here a lot too, but I got to think about this is, well, Gene Haas owns a NASCAR team. He's been Ford since 2017, but he has a partnership with Toyota now. What does this mean for his NASCAR team? Once again, I could be reading too far into this, but does this mean he could eventually have a deal with Toyota and NASCAR? Just got to bring it up. I had to think about it. Toyota, it's their grand return to Formula One. No, they're not building an engine. No, they are not owning a team like they did from 2002 to 2009, but they are back with a technical partnership and a branding sponsorship, in a sense, with Haas F1 team. MoneyGram still the title sponsor of that team, but you'll see their branding on the side of the car or in the back of the car or somewhere on the car. But there's a lot of different factors to think about here. A lot of different ways to look at this. Haas and Toyota. How is this going to work out? I'm very curious. But could it also impact, you know, drivers in the future? I don't know. Once again, I'm probably reading way too much into this. But Haas and Toyota have formed a partnership here in 2024. The branding side of things starts next week. <laughs> I don't know when the technical stuff starts, but I'm assuming 2025 is when they're going to hit it big. Uh, but a lot of different aspects to look at this thing from. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed late here in the U.S. of A. My clock's usually wrong. It says 1033. I think it's actually like 945. I really got to fix that clock.